Hello and welcome to Ginger Prime. My name is Brian if you're new around here, but if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back, you legend. That's what you get for subscribing, by the way. Free compliments at the start of these videos. Now, this is going to be a guide walking you through getting Final Fantasy XIV running on Steam Deck. Whether you have the PC version, the Steam version, it doesn't matter. All you gotta do is follow the steps in this guide and we're gonna do a complete guide. We're gonna actually talk about once you launch the game, configuring it to really take advantage of your Steam Deck in handheld mode. Now, if you have any questions after this video, feel free to ask them in the comments below or check us out on Discord if you need any additional assistance. Now, I would like to shout out and say a huge round of thanks to a, a YouTube channel called Ask Questions Later. Uh, they were a big part of helping me get set up. I'm gonna include a link to their video if you wanna go follow it along as well. My video is gonna end up taking kind of a little bit different approach. I ended up running into kind of a few questions uh, that I personally had and I had to go find other sources and so ultimately, this should hopefully be a complete edition here as of June 2022. If there's updates to doing this process here in the future, uh, I'll be sure to make other videos on that for you guys just to help make it as easy as possible to play Final Fantasy XIV on your Steam Deck. Now, just note, while I'm capturing it, Steam is actually uh, trying to put this out in basically 4K. Um, so there might be a little bit of a lag that you notice on the screen. Note that when playing in handheld mode, in normal mode, the lag and everything like that actually just runs perfectly fine. I think that's just the nature of my capture card uh, doing what it does right now. And as soon as I kind of figure out how to kind of force it in back into 1080p, um, then the, we're good to go. But just in case you're wondering and you're kind of looking at things going from there. Now, to start off, you want to install any version of Final Fantasy XIV from the Steam library. If you're ever curious, you can press the Steam button, you can go into the store, you can search Final Fantasy XIV, and then you can install Final Fantasy XIV. You can install the demo version, the free trial. Uh, you can control any, any version. Just install Final Fantasy XIV, and then it's gonna show up in your library. Now, Steam lists this game as not supported in Steam OS. So just note, there's gonna be some steps we have to take. In the game itself, you can go here into properties and this is where you're gonna to have to do some setup and I'm gonna walk you through all of this. But you can see here under general, I have no Steam equal one space percent command uh, percent. And so what that means is that is going to basically say, hey, we're gonna launch some browser. The other aspect of it is that I want to go into a force compatibility mode. There's multiple versions and I'll show you guys how to install your GE Proton. But right now I've been testing it on, on, on 19. I'll keep testing on different GE Proton versions and let you guys know if I have any issues. But yes, you're going to have to do some setup and let me go ahead and walk you through that. We'll come back to this page here at the end of it. So that way you guys have a good idea of what's going on. But ultimately, your first step is actually going to be to switch to desktop mode. And you can do that by pressing the Steam button, going down to power, and then saying switch to desktop. All right, now that we're in desktop mode, it might take a second for your mouse trackpad to actually register, but I want to take you down here into the Discover Software Center. And you're going to go into the search box and to pull up your virtual keyboard, press and hold the Steam button on your deck and press X. And that's gonna bring up your virtual keyboard. You want to install G-Edit. This is going to be a text editor. It's going to be a lot easier to use over Vim and you can press Steam X to close out the virtual keyboard as well. Now it's saying install here on this, but I've already got it installed and I've confirmed that. So either way you want to install G edit. This is going to allow you to edit the boot config for Final Fantasy 14 much easier than Vim. But if you're familiar with Vim, uh, then I would recommend you go ahead and stay exactly where you're at. Now I'm going to go ahead and clear this out. And now what you also want to search for is Proton Up. just type in Proton, it should give you a list of different applications and you see Proton Up QT. You want to install that because that's going to allow us to install specific Proton based compatibility tools. Now with those two things installed on your Steam Deck, you can go ahead and close out of Steam here as well. You can go into your Proton Up application. And here is where you can actually start to search and download various different compatibility tools. Now, currently I'm using 19. I've played around with 20. I've also used other compatibility tools with other games, but essentially what you can do is you can click on add version and then you can search a list of different versions that are there. I would highly recommend staying above 7.5 and just playing around with any of these. If you're running into issues, you can always change it up and install other ones because this is all gonna be set 
on the main version. So that is one step. You just click on the version, you click install. It takes just a second and then you're good to go. Nothing you have to do here. And I recommend kind of keeping this on your, on your device uh, because I'm sure there's gonna be other games that you're gonna wanna check out in the future. Now we're gonna get into a little bit of how we edit these files specifically. Now in your Dolphin Brow, like this is kind of your fault finder folder, uh, your <laughs> Explorer, you wanna go down into your home directory. You wanna go into your deck. And this is where I wanna direct you into this little hamburger button right here. And you wanna make sure you have show hidden files turned on. With that turned on, you're gonna see all these kind of blanked out little uh, dimmed out folders. These are hidden files. You wanna go into local, into share. Into Steam, into Steam apps. into combat, pad data. And now you're gonna see some folders with numbers. This represents your game ID. For the demo, you're gonna look for 31060. And for the full version, you're gonna look for 39210. That's what you can see right here. And then you go into PFX, drive C, users, Steam user. Documents are my documents. My games. Then you'll see Final Fantasy 14 A Realm Reborn. And then you're going to find Final Fantasy 14 boot.cfg. Recommend right clicking here saying open with. And this is where that G edit comes into play. Opening them up G edit is going to give you uh, uh this this tool so you're going to want to come in here and you want to change browser to one and browser type to one again pressing the steam and x to bring up the value you can hit backspace to blank out any data that is there type in the one and essentially then come down here to browser type and then essentially saving the file i'm not going to save my file because i've already modified it and with that now we can switch back over to steam os all right, now that we're back on the Steam OS side of things, I want to point you over to the settings again, back into properties. And then first and foremost, under compatibility, again, this is where you want to force and you want to select the downloaded Proton version that you're using. Then under general, you want to go into Steam equals one percent or space percent command percent. This is going to force it to use the non-Steam version when launching the game. So if I hit play, it's going to fire things up. And now we're going to walk you through your Final Fantasy 14 settings to make the most out of the game on Steam Deck. All right. So first and foremost, I want to highlight something on your main Final Fantasy 14 game, even though I'm running this right now on Steam Deck, I would highly encourage you to go on to that client first and foremost and say back up your character settings. Now, first, I would say click on this and you would actually say upload. Now, in this case on Steam Deck, I'd highly encourage you to say download after you've uploaded it. This is going to pull in all your gear sets, macros, and more to your game client. So it's gonna help save you a ton of time. However, uh, once you've done that, there's still gonna be a lot of different settings that you need to change. So let's go ahead and walk through each and every one of those for y'all right now, and hopefully get you guys in a comfortable and very easy way to play Final Fantasy XIV on your Steam Deck. All right, so once you're in the game, you can actually probably do this uh, before going into your system configuration. I would highly encourage you from your visual layout to pick 1080 by 720. This is gonna remove any kind of little border on your client. You only have a couple options. You can lower it down into 30 Hertz, which would be 30 frames per second if you wanna overall improve your battery life. So you can kind of pick around what makes the most sense for you uh, when playing. But I do recommend the 1280 by 720 uh, as a good way to go about it. Now note that as a part of this recording and capture, for some reason, the Steam Deck is outputting it actually in 4K. Uh, so there's a slight little bit of <laughs> lag, a little bit of processing uh, going on. I would then go into your scale UI and I would say apply changes and I would reduce the overall default UI scale of all of your HUD. You're gonna wanna spend a little bit of customization time with realigning your HUD and setup 
here for that. So just note, you can go in and you can resize all your elements that are coming over from desktop and then you can kind of start to kind of scale up each individual item, which actually what whatever makes the most sense for you as a player. So I'm going to go ahead and apply on that. We're going to accept those changes and we'll stick with that frames per second for the rest and duration of this video. Now, I'm going to take you into start and I want you to go into character configuration. If you've got your main menu uh, down on the bottom, note that it's still start and character configuration will get you there. And I would encourage you to check out gamepad mode. Now, while I create various different full on controller guides for each job and overall for Final Fantasy 14, just to get you started with gamepad mode, I do recommend legacy type. You can switch between gamepad mode and keyboard and mouse mode. So if you're kind of like, hey, what, what's happening here? I uh, note that those two things are actually completely separate. And I would encourage you to maybe check out legacy type movement. But if you're more traditional in terms of MMO character based movement you can also select standard type now under your target I would encourage you probably to turn on your auto target priority and enable full auto target uh, you have a couple options closest range or line of sight this will be very helpful and especially as you're learning the controller and then under filters, I'd encourage you to say custom and turn off party members on essentially when you have your weapon sheathed and engaged. So you can actually pre-built out default uh, custom filters. Uh, and so that is essentially what I would encourage you to check out along the way. And then under your hotbar settings, I would go into your cross hotbar specifically and I would pick on your hold mode. This is gonna save you time, uh, especially because it gets to give you access to the full set of controller options with the double tap and the expanded cross op bar. Uh, and then you can guys can, obviously I would encourage you to check out my full controller guide uh, there as we dive into a lot of that information. From here, when it comes to the game, you might not have access to a keyboard or mouse and that's gonna be okay. You wanna press and hold L1 or L bumper and then click the right stick to go into virtual mouse mode. This is going to take your right stick and turn it into a virtual mouse. From here, you can go into your HUD and you can start to pick on various different objects. Like if you want to move your progress bar right here, you can move it by clicking either the right, uh, basically your right trigger and your left trigger are gonna act differently. So left trigger is going to give you the ability to grab and drag. So if you wanna move your enemy list and you wanna to start to move your UI around, you can do so. I encourage you to change the different sizing of elements. You can do this by right clicking the stick to bring up uh, different sizes and scales, or you can always go into your uh, settings gear here and actually changing the default setting and sizing of the objects. It will take a little bit to kind of get used to in virtual mouse mode, but that's gonna give you the best control over the system and how you interact. Now to exit virtual mouse mode, you can always again, hold a left bumper and then click the stick to turn it off. And then you're gonna see that it returns back to your camera. So that should hopefully be a good starting uh, way of getting you adjusted to, uh, I guess, using a gamepad when playing. I would highly encourage you that as you get adjusted, don't get frustrated. Either check out a guide for the specific job to kind of set up uh, your layout and, uh, <laughs> and system, but then maybe go hit a striking dummy, move around the world, get used to kind of how the buttons all kind of work together. And let me know if you have any questions on how you get everything kind of configured. As kind of a final note, because this is something I guess people, you know, who might not know is that you can pretty much play and do everything in 14 with a controller hold down left bumper it's kind of your magic stick and then you can use your right stick to actually zoom in and out of your character to adjust your overall field of view and play style and so that's going to be my last tip in this guide again i can follow this up with anything else and thanks to this amazing community for the support but also for helping me get final fantasy 14 running on the steam deck i'll be putting out some more guides on steam deck here over the course of the next couple days hopefully you find them interesting thanks so much for being here thanks for your time and hopefully i'll see you in my next video but until then take care yeah it's time to chill out on the couch and read some comments that's right you know me when it comes to destiny i'm off with a clam and i'm glad you're feeling better Oh, yeah.